Okay, to start these sushi rolls, we need to prepare the rice. I'm using regular sushi rice, and we need to rinse this rice off really, really good until the water is clear. So the way I rinse my rice off, um, I just place it in a glass bowl and pour some water on top and then just kind of massage it and you'll see the water will start to get all milky colored and then I just pour that water off and then I just repeat the process until the water is clear and it's not as murky. And I don't get it like super clear, just enough so that I can see the rice through the water because it takes forever to get that rice super clear, get the water super clear. And there it is, nice and rinsed off. The water is pretty clear, so it's good to go. All right, so now we are going to cook the rice. In a pot, I'm gonna add in some cool water. Just pour that right on in there. And then I'm gonna add in the rinsed rice that I have drained. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it to a very light simmer. You see how the water is barely, you know, breaking on the top? We wanna cover it up and we're gonna cook it on medium low for 10 minutes. All right, now after 10 minutes, we're gonna reduce that heat to low and cook for another 10 minutes. And remember, don't move that lid. Keep the lid on there at all times, okay? And then after that 10 minutes is up, remove it from the heat and let it sit for um, another 10 minutes and do not take that lid off, okay? All right, so now we're gonna make the seasoned vinegar to go on the rice. I love this stuff, you guys. Mm. All right, I'm using some rice vinegar. I got it from um, Harris Teeter. You can get all this stuff from Harris Teeter. They have a really good um, Asian section there. All right, so I'm gonna add the rice vinegar to a saucepan, a small saucepan. Then we're gonna add in some sugar and kosher salt. There's that kosher salt going in there. And then we're going to heat it on medium just until the sugar and the salt have dissolved. We're not going to boil or anything like that. So when it has dissolved, just set it aside, take off the heat and set it aside. We'll be using it later. All right, time to get our fillings ready. Yay! For this sushi, I'm just using um, cucumber, regular cucumber, um, some Philadelphia salmon flavored cream cheese. This stuff is so good. It has a nice smoky flavors here. I love it. And some wasabi sauce. Yummy. And some regular old soy sauce. Okay. All right. So I peeled my cucumbers. I have took the seeds out and now I'm just going to slice it up really, really thin, just like that. Thin little strips. You really only need like half a cucumber. I don't know why I did the whole cucumber. I don't know. But you can stuff it up with a lot if you like. All right, so now we're going to season up our rice. I'm going to pour my rice into a glass dish. Make sure you use glass or wood or something like that. Don't put it in like a, you know, yeah. So put it into a glass casserole dish or whatever. Did I say casserole? Casserole dish. And then pour on that seasoned rice vinegar. And now stir it up a little bit. Get everything nice and combined. And let that rice absorb that yummy, yummy seasoned vinegar just like that all right now it's time to roll them up come to roll up our sushi roll yay i have my bamboo mat here just a regular placemat i got that from the dollar store i think and i've covered that placemat with some clear wrap and i have my nori sheet right there on top and this is a bowl of water and vinegar i have because rice this rice is very sticky it sticks to your hands it sticks to everything so um yeah i'm just gonna take the rice take a spoon I'm using a wooden spoon and I'm just going to basically make a thin sheet of rice right there on top of that nori sheet. Now it's going to stick to the nori sheet really, really well, okay? So just kind of smooth it out just like that, press it down. And I like to use a lot of rice. As you can see, I love this rice. Now we're going to lay on our strips of cucumber, you know, three, four strips, whatever. I'm laying it kind of close to the end, but not really close to the end, you see? Then we're going to lay on my strips of um, salmon flavored cream cheese, just like that. Then we're going to put on a little bit of wasabi sauce. This stuff is hot, so you don't need a lot of it. And then we're going to douse this baby with some good old soy sauce. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
Okay, now we're going to roll it up. We're going to use our bamboo um, placemat to just kind of help us roll it. We don't want to roll the placemat up into the sushi, okay? We're just using it to kind of help us flip that sushi roll over and to keep it nice and neat, just like that. So then just flip it over again. Try to keep it as tight as you can get it. And you can use a little bit of that um, oil and vinegar mixture to kind of seal the ends if you need to. And you can also do this without a bamboo mat, which I'm showing you right here. It's got to be very, very careful and keep it nice and tight, just like that. And there's our sushi rolls right there. We're going to let them sit for about 15 minutes just to kind of soften up a little bit. And then we're just going to slice it in the middle. One slice down the middle, just like that, with a very sharp knife. And this knife wasn't so great at cutting it. It's kind of, you know, I think I used the wrong knife for this. Yeah, then you're going to cut the halves into little pieces like that. And there you have it. It's so good. So good. And then you're done. Get some sauces. Serve it all. I like to use a lot of sauces on mine. Get some sauces. Serve it up. And enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.